Devos, what's up, everybody? What's up, you guys? It's already real talk. So it's Wednesday. It's real talk, and listen, it's the holidays. So what's up, you guys? I hope you all are having like a really great day. Whenever y'all are watching this, it is real talk Wednesday. All right, and this real talk Wednesday is just supposed to be. I, I, I'm. We're just gonna go with the flow. I did let you guys know last week. You can leave your questions down below that you want me to answer. So I only got two questions i guess people was more involved in the actual real talk real talk topic and that was really at the end when i did introduce that so that's okay because the less questions the less y'all in my business so with that being said i hope you guys are just having like a really great day i'm having a good day you know i did go to the gym today i worked out and let me tell you guys this is like you know like i know there's etiquette you have to have like all type of manners and etiquette etiquette or whatever it's called you, you understand what i'm saying you, you know like there's cell phone etiquette there's school etiquette there's like gym etiquette like you know what i'm saying so i would think like wherever you're at you would have like that particular you just would have some manners and some class about yourself okay now mind you i've been going to this gym probably like what three months now maybe a little bit over i think like three months or whatever and i always enjoy my experience there i mean you got to make the best of it because it's the gym like really okay so anyway today you know it's actually really tuesday and um i'm at the gym minding my business like i always do like i always tell you guys i mind my business because i definitely do i'm on one of those leg machines you know the leg machines where it's like a bar underneath like your calf area i decided i was going to do that particular machine for the last 15 minutes that I had before I was leaving. It wasn't even a full 15 minutes, to be honest with you. It was like nine, it was nine, it was 9.47. So anyway, I'm on the machine. You know you're doing sets, so you definitely wanna take a break in between, especially depending on how many weights you got. Girl, I was sitting there doing my sets, minding my business, and mind you, there's three, two other machines next to me that do the same thing, all right? Maybe a dis different design, but they do the same thing. Besides that, there's other leg machines in there. Besides all that, there's mad shit to do up in there while you wait your turn, like I have done plenty of times. Girl, one time I waited two times because I was getting off the machine that I was working on because that person stopped working on theirs. And lo and behold, before I could blink, somebody else was on that shit. So, you know what I'm saying? What did I do? I went and found something else to do. Anyway, the moral to the story is, why would you even dare to approach me? Why did this old man, when I say old man, he have to be like 70 something, okay? Did he really come to me as I was in rest from between some sets? I'm mean, sitting there. He comes and was like, and I had the AirPods in. How many sets you got left? I'm like, excuse me? And I'm reading his lips, but I don't really hear him. But this is what he said because he had to repeat himself. So I'm like, excuse me, what? How many sets you got left? I was like, I started just looking around like, am I on camera? Like, is this a prank? Because I'm always thinking like, somebody's got me on camera joking me because of the foolish shit that come out of people's mouths at times. I'd be looking around just like, this gotta be a prank, right? Like, there's no way you seriously coming up to me with this bullshit. So I'm like looking around and then I'm like looking at him like, and I was like, well, I really don't know because I ain't never had nobody ask me that before. And he then he goes and tells me that I've been sitting here a mighty long time. Now, mind you, I did say I got on that shit at 947, right? 
And I noticed because I replied back to a text message from my daughter. Well, bitch, it was like 940, it was 958, 956, 956, okay? When he came and asked me that shit. Well, you've been sitting here a mighty long time. No, I have not been on the machine a mighty long time. Try to tell me once again that I was sitting on it a mighty long time, that I was. <sighs> Let me tell you something. First of all, I love me some senior citizens. I love everybody. It doesn't really matter what age you are. Just don't be disrespectful. But listen, old man, it is definitely not Senior Citizens Day at EOS Fitness, nor is it Fuck With April Day, okay? And I don't really care what age you are. You will not be disrespecting me. He tried to, like, flex on me, though, too, when he was, like, saying it, like, trying to, like, intimidate me, okay, with his old Senior Citizens muscles. Like, he was, like, real close, and then he was... You know what I'm saying? When he said it, and I had to tell him, like, once again, like I said, I don't know when I'm going to be done. And then I had the nerve to walk close past the machine, stood right there and was like, have a nice workout. I'm like, excuse me? He said it again. I wanted to say, man, if you don't get your old ass from near me, I'm going to push you into the machine that's behind you. And you better hope it don't take your hip out, okay? Once I slam you up against it. It was old man. He, like, shorter than me, trying to flex on me at the gym, like... But why didn't you ask those other people that was at the gym on the same damn machine? I couldn't believe that. Like, isn't there gym etiquette? I, I never would ask anybody that. I would just wait my turn. Like, I thought that that was so rude. And at 9.58, I got off the machine and left because he had really, like, took my whole vibe. I could not believe what I had just witnessed out of my own two eyes to me at the gym. And he was a Darren, like, you know, Karen's husband, this was a Darren, okay? Definitely. So you guys, like I said, I did have two questions that I have posted, um, that were posted to the video. And trust me when I tell you, I did go back and read that through all the comments. I guess you guys don't really love me or you just know more enough about me that you just really don't want to be in my business. So either way, it doesn't really matter because, you know what I'm saying, we still gonna do this real talk because there are things that I would like to talk about in my life that has been going on. You know what I'm saying? For one, the one question that I do want to tell you about, um, I would like to read, which is from Mrs. Walton, did ask me, what's a good area in Arizona to live in? So, and let me tell y'all, y'all know I've been living here eight and a half years, eight and a half or nine years now. And I absolutely love it here. When I first moved here, um, it was like a learning experience and it still is because there's so much that has yet to be unfolded. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I haven't been all over the world in Arizona. There's so much that you can see in Arizona and there's so many great places to just visit. Along with that is during like certain times of the year, like now, there's so many great like street festivals and events that you can do with your family for free. Of course, you got to buy the food there, but it's a whole lot of things that you could do out here for free and save on money, especially because how inflation has hit Arizona over the past like year and a half. Where I live at here, and I did answer this in the actual message comments to her because I didn't know if I was going to be able to get to it. But, you know what I'm saying, what I, what I like the most about certain areas is like the diversity. So I live in Avondale, and in Avondale you see like different ethnic groups in a whole. Like, you know what I'm saying, it's not just like only Hispanic or only white or only black. It's like a diversity of you know all groups and i do like that because it just kind of like to me balances everything but i i guess you know what I'm saying i would say avondale because look I, this is the only place that i've lived in since i've lived out here and i've stayed in the same place so to me i like avondale and i got to know it it's really easy you know you avondale is kind of like i'm not gonna say it's really big but you know it out here is kind of different like like in New York City, you know how we have the boroughs, like it'd be Queens, Brooklyn, Bronx. It's kind of like spread out. Here, you can just like cross the street and it's not even you could like, you do. You cross the street and it's a different like, I don't know if you want to call it city, zone, borough. I don't know what you want to call it, but like I live in Avondale. 
And then across the street is Tullison. It's like, okay, I don't really get it, but it's just weird, you know. And one thing that I don't really like, what people, they'll be like, well, you, you know, east side, west side, south side. I'm like, girl, can you just tell me, is it Tempe? Is it Avondale? Is it Glendale? Like, just, 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 just fucking tell me, all right? I don't have a guessing. So, I mean, I do like it out here, but, like, I really do like Avondale because it's nice. It's, you know what I'm saying? They have a lot of things out here to do. And they are building up stuff like crazy out here. Um, but sometimes I get irritated with that because they just feel like, it feel like sometimes they just building a little bit too much. Like, right down the street from me, about a mile and a half, well, like two, three miles, no, say two miles, for me is the Cardinals Stadium, okay? The Cardinals Football Stadium. So now, right next to it, y'all are building like some type of water theme park. And they also host apartments to live in. Like, okay, this is just like ridiculous. Shouldn't be right in that area. But then I start feeling old, like, oh, I don't want this in my neighborhood, but I really don't. It's gonna change the traffic flow, like for real. And it's also gonna bring in certain people, certain type of people. When I say people, meaning criminals or people doing shit that ain't got no business doing shit because you bring, you're attracting just like all type of now amusement parks and, and water parks. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like that needs to be an area where it's a whole, whole lot of space. I don't really feel like it should be right next to a football stadium. You know what I mean? And a shopping outlet. You know what I'm saying? So when I say those type of people, I mean like, you know, people coming through the neighborhood bashing up people's cars and shit like that because they're drinking. You know, shit like that. When starts the crowds start to change when you start putting different things in areas. And where it's, where it's located at is not really like a really great area for that. You know, and on top of that, that's sort of like a residential slash business area. Who the hell wants all these people, you know what I'm saying, in the area going to water parks? That, like, I don't know, but it's changing a lot. And with that being said, so is the goddamn rent, the rent prices. They have spiked up like nobody's business. I mean, it's ridiculous. And it just feels like, I don't know, some people will try to say that it's because weed is legal. Some people try to say that because everybody from California is coming here. Some people try to say that because they're all building stuff. They're building up a whole bunch of stuff. Everywhere you look, it's like they're building up some shit, okay? From apartments, hotels, to fucking water parks. All right, so they're building up a whole bunch of shit. I mean, and, and like I said, I do really like it out here. But I just really don't feel the need for all of the shit that they build in. Like, seriously. I guess because I'm old school, I really like to live somewhere where it's more quiet. Like, I don't really care for the the city life anymore. Only because, you know what I'm saying, I've been brought up in the city all my life. So, I don't really like, you know, I'm not like a huge fan of city life like that anymore. But also, you know, I just don't like, like, certain things. I don't know. I'm more of a reserved person. Like, me, I move somewhere and all I need is, like, certain stores. Walmart, a good-ass grocery store, Target, and the Dollar Tree. Um, I think that's probably, like, all I would need. And a couple of good fast food restaurants. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I'm good. Like, I, I can't ask for nothing more. So, that's the type of person I am. I don't need to have, like, all of that shit. Like, a whole bunch of stuff surrounding me. That's probably why I keep saying I'm going to move to Alaska and shit. But anyway, I do like Avondale. And Glendale is really cool. I, I guess because it's super close. So, you know, it's like another thing. You go across the street. Um, Buckeye is, to me, it's kind of reserved. It's very quiet. They, like, there's stuff going on in Buckeye, but not like how Avondale is. Um, good year. I like, like, the quiet places like that. Um, those are the type of areas that I like. Um, I don't really care for Phoenix, um, especially, like, downtown because it's busy. Uh, Tempe is nice, but it's, it's a little pricey. Um, and I think, I do believe, like, a lot of the college kids live out there. You know what I'm saying? Because it is a college. So, th those are the things that I like. There's a lot to do. Um out here the rent like i said you just gotta check it out man like it just sucks and i guess it's not just here where rent is going up like that like 
do you guys notice have have you have any of you guys noticed like this a spike in rent in your town your state like let me know tell me what are your thoughts of like rent pricing and such going up are you experiencing the same things that i'm talking about um but yeah so other than that um that's what i feel about um arizona i love it here i really do like it um the only thing is things have changed a lot and you know I really can't say much. I just really do hope that it doesn't change like that, like that. So being single for the past year, let me tell y'all, I know a lot of people be wondering, well, how do you be single so long? Like there, I have had questions in my life of people asking me, how does it feel to be single? Don't I get lonely? Don't I miss intimacy? Don't I miss being in a relationship? Just from me only being one year being single only when i say only because a year is quick it's short that's not a long time you know only now maybe you ask me something like that like let's say 10 12 years from now I feel like to be being single it has been a whole entire year and like i'm not here to bash nobody but this is about me and how i've been dealing with life in the past year since being single you ever look back at shit and it's your old your old self like you look back at your old self right and you just be like april why the fuck was you crying over that motherfucker what is wrong with you what was wrong with you you know better for next time like you look back at your old self and just try and wonder and figure the fuck out why you went crazy over another person like you know what i'm saying like and it don't matter how long ago it has happened, but you just look back at your old self and trying to figure out what the fuck was you thinking. That's what I be sitting here thinking of myself, okay? Like, I've been thought this within like a couple of a few, like a couple of months, a few months after the breakup. You know, and like I said, I'm not here to bash anybody, but I don't really give a fuck. But you know and like seriously i really don't give a fuck but i felt like that like it had to be probably like in I, you know listen i still was hurt when i had you know spoke about it in the video of last year i definitely was hurt but um within like a few months I was really like satisfied with my life to a certain degree. Not maybe 100%, definitely not 100%. But I had started really enjoying my space, okay? Like who don't love space? Like let's be for real, okay? But um, now a year has gone by and I'm just like totally in bliss and happy to be single. Like some people just can't do it, but then there comes a time in your life when you just be over all the bullshit and the drama that comes with being in a relationship with, with another person. Like on some real shit, you be over that shit. And then it comes like, you know what? Let me reflect on my life. Let me love myself and really enjoy my life. Like. I don't need to be in a relationship with anyone to enjoy my life. Like, that's what God put me here for, is to enjoy it with or without someone. And I will say this, it's a beautiful feeling to have all my space, okay? And a peace of mind, you know what I'm saying? Like, seriously, like, I really did care for that person, and I really did love that person. But, girl, like, let me tell y'all, it was like some real bullshit during that whole period time frame after that video that I posted on here about me and him departing in the relationship. Like, you know what I'm saying? I had his sister. She, I didn't have her. She, on her, her own self, decided she would want to start texting. And, and it just got out of hand. Let's just, like, put it like that. It got really out of hand. And I was just, like, amazed at how some people will feel like, you know what I'm saying, they have the audacity to speak upon another person when you got shit going on in your own life.
Like it just, it just behooves me about how other people be acting. And I was really able to see that, you know what I'm saying? And me, the type of person I am, I don't never want to disrespect nobody's family member, regardless of what we've had going on. But sweetheart, you're not going to keep trying to come for me and I'm going to keep biting my tongue and being respectable. You know what I'm saying? There's going to come a time and a place when I'm going to put some fire up under that ass too. And then you're going to have to realize, let me leave this bitch the fuck alone. Okay. But other than that, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm really happy that I'm not with him and I ain't no bashing and then I'm not trying to hurt nobody's feelings, but I'm just telling you how I feel. This is me. This is me a year later. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy. You know, I have, you know, been more accepting to my son's passing, you know, in some aspects. Yeah, don't get it fucked up. I do have bad days still, you know what I'm saying? Where I am totally like heartbroken, but then there are some days when I'm okay. You know what I'm saying? And that's all I need to be is okay. You know, people ask you every day, how are you doing? How are you doing? I'm happy. I'm good because I woke up. So I can't complain about much of anything. But yeah, living a single life is, is great. Like, you know, I went on a date with the guy from FedEx and that didn't work out. He was a little bit too um, touchy-feely. Like, I don't like people touching on my knee. You know what I'm saying? He was touching my knee when I had to give him that ride from the um the, the AutoZone place. Yeah, he was in my car touching my knee, my um my right knee. Made me feel very uncomfortable. And plus, I didn't really like what he said on the very first date. The first and only motherfucking day. How, you know, asked me, do I miss being intimate? Like, whoa. You know what I'm saying? Like, that wasn't even a whole entire year of being single. That was in August when I went on that date with him. So... It wasn't that motherfucking long. But it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I tried the dating thing. And then I just have too many rules. or Not even rules, but requirements. That um, I require another man and that want to enter into my life to be all about. Like, it ain't easy to, to, um, to please me anymore. And when I say that, like, there's a whole lot of shit that comes with it. Like I said, I've been single before in my life to longer than a year and like I said once you get to be like my age or not even my age but once you've been through enough you've been through the fuck enough and like you you know a red flag when you see one and after a while it's like bitch I done dodged enough motherfucking bullets I'm about to just ride this wave of being single and see how good it feel and like I enjoy it you know what I'm saying I'm almost in my I'm almost 50 I'm 47 years old you know you know what I'm saying what why would I want to be aggravated by another fucking person and by another human being at my age like who the fuck want to be aggravated by a goddamn man at 47 years old like come on now let's be for real you know what I'm saying like so being single for me is something that I like and on top of that like now the way I feel like on some real shit I just feel like this if I have a man if I get a boyfriend a man you don't have to live like at least an hour or two away from me because that way you don't live too motherfucking close where you could feel you can always keep coming over to my goddamn house now yes coming over to my house because that means that you should have your own shit not living with your mama or your roommate or your auntie or your cousin or anything like that but have your own shit so therefore i'm gonna need you to be able to hey you busy this weekend? Can I come over? Okay, because that's a drive. Like, who the fuck wanna drive an hour or two just to go visit somebody and they ain't home? You feel me? Okay, so second of all, you drive, meaning you need to have your own car. I don't give a fuck if you, um, if it's last year's model or two, 10 years ago model. Make sure that shit is your own, because don't crawl me the fuck up, talk about can I get a ride or anything like that. I don't need anybody that's clingy, okay? I don't need anybody that's clingy, and I don't need anyone that just, you know what, maybe because I didn't heard enough shit, you know how men, they just, they just be so clingy, or they just say, they say a lot of sweet things to you. Sometimes you start feeling like, you know what, are you being for real sarcastic? Are you trying to be funny or are you just trying to really run, run me, win me the fuck over because you're trying to do some dumb shit? Your agenda is to do some dumb shit. So you're really trying to win me over. Like, you don't really have to brown nose me like that. Like, I don't know. I don't really know how to describe it. But, like, for me, whenever my single life journey is over and I find someone please just just know these things about me firsthand like serious I, I just and don't use certain terms with me like you know how you got what is these little pet names like boo and shit like that like boo bay I don't like those I just don't call me that you know what I'm saying you can call me motherfucking April 
What's up? Muffins. What's up? But certain shit that everybody around the nation has used, I prefer you to not call me that. Especially in your 40s. Okay. I do really like the single life. I enjoy it. I can't ask for more. I guess because, you know what, listen, I enjoy family. I really do. I feel like family is really important. Family, family to me is super important. And you know, with me, I have five kids and unfortunately one of them passed away two years ago, um, which was my middle son. But you know, I do have four living children and I, I enjoy spending time with them. It seemed like after my whole relationship was over, my whole attitude just changed. I just got, you know, I don't know. I just feel like a better person and I just really require love to be around my kids and my grandkids a lot and i just feel like family is super important so you know i, I just try to give everybody in my life a part of me and to treat them all equal and just to love them you know what i'm saying like some people be like damn you got four grandkids like four grandkids i have four grandsons and they're just the cutest little things ever and it just seems like they just grew and grew and grew like weeds but it also started to feel like, damn, I don't know if it was like a, a trickling effect, but the first one that I had, I, I, I felt kind of like old in the beginning. I guess when you first realize that you're going to be a first time grandmother, it's like, what? Okay, now I'm old because, not even old, but you know what I'm saying, it's the title. But I was accepting to it, so I was good with that. And then, you know, grandson number two came along. They then just gave me another grandkid, like, okay. And then the third one, I was like, okay, dang, this is like happening really quick. Then the fourth one, I was like, oh, shit. Oh, my motherfucking goodness. Y'all is really trying to age a bitch. Like, okay, so now you in four grandkids later. And it's like the fifth one, five grandkids now. So if you guys didn't know, I am going to be a grandmother for the fifth time. Yes, I have another grandkid on the way. A lot of love. Like, when you have so many kids and so many grandkids you have to definitely have like a lot of love and people don't realize that i used to always be questioned oh my god god bless your heart for having um so many children how do you do it with all those kids like you guys why would you allow your children to run over you regardless of how many children you have you got to put them in check and i feel like each one of my kids they had their own personality but they knew to respect me and to follow the rules and they knew what type of person I was and how I ran my household. So therefore, I don't have no wild children jumping all over the place, breaking my things up, ruining and destroying my furniture in my home. No, or being disrespectful. It wasn't like that. You know what I'm saying? Though, true indeed, I did have like issues. Like, you know, some kids, I guess there's always one that's really like standoffish or not even standoffish, but the one that's I guess you want to say not even a black sheep, but there are, you do have the, the kids in the household that will give you a run for your money. Fuck it. You know, um, I think like out of all five of my kids, the one that I would say gave me the most run for my money is Tati. She um, gave me so much run for my money. I seriously would tell you, like we have clashed so much at times and um, we have been through it with one another. We have had our moments where we didn't speak to each other. You know, you always want the best for your children. And I think like that's what every parent always feels that way. With all their kids rather, they want the best for them. You always want your kids to be better than you. You know what I mean? Like you don't want them to have to struggle like you have. You know, you, you just want the best for your kids. You want them to become the best person in life. Like I ain't never seen nobody say, oh yeah, I want my, my son to be a deadbeat baby daddy, okay? I want my, my daughter to be nothing but a street walker, a, a thot and a prostitute. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't think anybody be saying those type of things about their kids, okay? If so, then honey, maybe you should think rethink about having children. So she, she definitely gave me a run for my money. But our relationship has definitely been a whole lot better um since the for the past year now it has definitely been a whole lot better we speak to each other every single day she does come over to my home every single day you know to visit with her son so you know we have had a lot better relationship with each other you know um sometimes you you know it's called tough love when you keep telling a person something over and over again 
you know, you tend to get a little bit more aggressive, maybe say the 10th time of, the, of you trying to instill something in them and tell them something for their own good, you start to get a little bit more aggressive after like the 10th time. They have seen different sides of me and I just really try to be a supportive parent to all my kids. And you know, you, you just listen, you can bring a horse to water, but you can't make them drink the shit, okay? And like, I brought the horse to the water plenty of times. Now, did she want to have a sip sip? No, but you know, they learn, they live and they learn. So our relationship has gotten a lot better. Do I expect different things and better things for her? I do, you know what I'm saying? Even though you've grown, I still have those talks with you and let you know what I expect of you and how you should conduct yourself. Because just, just because you've grown and you don't live with me doesn't mean that I'm not gonna tell you what I expect of you as a parent and as a daughter, like straight up, it is what it is. I'm gonna just keep it funky with you. But yeah, we, we do definitely get along a lot better. And that was just answering one of my uh, subscribers questions, uh, Lisa. Lisa wanted to know, hey, April, is your relationship with Tati continue, continuing to improve? And it definitely is. I try to improve my life and myself, you know? And that could be like something really, really hard that some people have. Like, you gotta stay motivated. You gotta stay like on a positive note with, with shit. And like, I just try to think of certain things positively and the best like I don't I don't ever want to think negative about a situation you know what I'm saying like you know people dread doing a lot of things like with me oh like you know even though I go to the gym five days out of the week at least I definitely try some days some weeks I might have to miss a day or two because of appointments and shit like that there are people in this world who love to go to the motherfucking gym every day they will sit their ass there like five six hours like won't you get a job here because I see you here every day the five days out of the week when I come and bitch you here before I get here and you still here after I leave won't you get a motherfucking job and I don't know for the life of me who the hell want to stay at the gym like that how do you enjoy being there that fucking long every goddamn day you ain't got no friends okay what are you working on a scholarship okay like I'm trying to figure it out but like I, I it's not that I dread going to the gym but it's not that I really want to be there either, but I try to take this like in a positive note, like April, you almost 50, you got two more years until you turn 50. Don't you want to be in shape? Like you don't want to be like no dried up prune, you know what I'm saying? Though you ain't never going to prune, your skin ain't going to get like that. But I'm just saying like, you want to be healthy and in shape because I'm I'm like one of those people like, well, I don't know if the world come to an end, zombie apocalypse, I want to be in shape because a bitch going to run out, run everybody. Like I ain't saying I was going to be out here fighting everybody, but at least let me let this treadmill and this elliptical and all these other fucking machines that I've been working on, even the one where people is flexing on me, let that all get me in shape so where I could outrun some motherfucking zombies and people when the world comes to an end or whatever the fuck go on because shit be popping off and people be acting crazy and you never know when you have to run or outrun a motherfucker. So, you know, I mean, I do go to the gym on a daily, five day a week basis. I don't do the weekends because... Too many people be there on the weekends and I'm just not with that. I'm an early person, so I do go early. And I feel like, you know, two hours a day is like dedication. Shit, I don't even want to be there like 45 minutes, but I stretch it the fuck out. You know, I guess that's why I take breaks in between sets and senior citizens decide that they're going to pop up on me. I'm like looking at him like, hold the fuck up. This is not Senior Citizens Day. Why aren't you playing bingo somewhere or making crafts at the senior home? Why aren't you trying to flex on me and intimidate me? I couldn't believe how he came at me and like stood there like, did somebody give him like some pump it up juice today? Because he, and, and he decided to try it out a little on me. Did I have that look like, I don't know. Sometimes you have to feel like you have this look and it's, it's just got this look, but that only other people can see because you can't see that shit. And it's like, yeah, try me. You got that try me look like, oh, I'm a bitch look. I'm a punk ass look. You ever feel that way because the dumbest shit happened to you? That's how I be feeling. Like, is there like some magical sign that nobody, no, that everybody can see but me only or only, only assholes can see? Like, please let me know because I'm trying to figure this shit the fuck out with just people in general and the shit that they do, the fuckery that they do. But... You know, I just try to better myself. I have decided that I wanted to go back to school. Um, just, you know what? 
it's not that YouTube is boring me, but it ain't like it used to be, okay? Like, the views are not there like they used to be. And it ain't even just for me. I've looked at many other, you know, influencer pages that were getting, like, really great views on doing wig tutorials. But I guess, you know, wig tutorials are getting old. They've been around for a minute. You know, once you've seen a million, you've seen a million. And I love, like, like dressing up a house. I just do. I really, really do. And I just feel like, you know what, there are good um, financial gains in being a real estate agent. And it's interesting. And, like, I want something that's just going to help me, like, really better my life and leave, like, like like a good legacy behind for my kids or just leave like a good something behind for my kids you know you know but i've been on here for 14 years sometimes things have ran its course well am i about to stop today tomorrow no i'm definitely not you know but i do feel like i want to expand in my life um a little bit further and just do different things so i felt like you know I wanted to just take a look into, you know, going to a real estate school or seeing how that works out. You know what I mean? I know there are some people that sell million dollar homes and I know you have to get to that in your life or uh, you have to get to that stage. And I wonder how that works out. But, you know, hey, I'm just interested in it and I'm. Um, you know thinking about it heavily and also you know like with my website for my wigs you know that's like my other income and i've been trying to expand it so i do have another website that i've been working on um so that way i could just move everything over and i have um i think like i really do need to take the pictures the photographs of my eyelashes all over unless I'm able to salvage some of them and because I took enough of those pictures for these lashes and I really didn't like how a lot of them came out so that's kind of like put me in a funk because I you know I've had you know I've had this thought and this vision and I've, I've been working really hard on my website and um, I, I want to just open it already you know what I'm saying like I do in the meantime, I just use my other one. But anyway, that's enough about me, I guess, for today. I hope y'all had a great, you know, earful from me. I hope you guys all have a great day. Happy holidays, you guys. Are you ready for Christmas? Like, Christmas is my favorite time of the year. So I hope you guys all are having, like, a great holiday. Stay diva and divolicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks for spending this time with me. I'll see y'all on the next one. Go, 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 go.